on. What's up guys, Champ here bringing another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what I got for you guys is a Nuketown Domination gameplay. This first gameplay is going to be Mr. Cod and then the second one's going to be me. We're both going to go on brutal streaks here in the same exact game on Nuketown Domination. This isn't the first video that I made like this. Me and Mr. Cod had multiple games where we both just go off in the same game. So I decided to give like a two person perspective of the same exact game. Just two different people going off. Both ended up getting really high kills, really low death game. We both actually stopped putting our wraps in for a second. I stopped putting them in when he was streaking because I wanted to not take any of his kills when the hater was up and he was on a nuclear streak. So I didn't, you know, when the wraps are up, they're constantly going to kill everybody, especially the wraps and the wraith. So if I had both of those up at the same time while he's trying to go on his nuclear streak, they're eventually just going to flip the spawns way too often. It's going to make it a lot harder. You're going to be doing a lot more running through mid-map. And that's how you die here on Newtown. What you really want to do is pick a side, kind of like how he did right here. And just stick to that side, if possible, if the spawns are flipping enough. And then you could just lessen your chance of getting killed while having to run back and forth from spawn to spawn. Because every once in a while you'll do that. They'll spawn on the blue car or the red car and they'll just take you out while you're running back and forth game actually ended up working out kind of well neither of us came in here thinking oh we're gonna go on this high kd game we're gonna try to drop nukes we just both came into this game and we both happened to start doing really well versus these guys maybe the teammates weren't that good maybe it's because we were throwing up non-stop haters between me and him so we pretty much knew where the other team was all the time and it's got to be discouraging to the other team when you're throwing up raps non-stop and raves and I think he actually has a talent on. You'll see in his gameplay. Yeah, he has the talent on. You'll see that he actually goes into his talent twice during his gameplay. Not that time right there. He picks up this razor back. He finds a nice little safe spot to put his body. And he ends up going into the town. He gets a bunch of kills in the town too while he's on this brutal gun streak. So he wasn't obviously really worried about dying. He didn't think he was on a huge gun streak at the time of this. Or maybe he just didn't care, I don't know, but he definitely put in work with his talent when he did throw the talent up. I mean, he is just spawn trapping them with the talent, gets out of it, comes out and gets an immediate kill. It's a good thing he had this razor back here, because he does end up getting a couple kills with the razor back. And that's where his trouble lies, is with the gun that he ends up picking up towards the end of his streak. It's not the best run and gun type of gun. You guys will see soon what gun it is. And it, I think if he had he picked up another SMG, any other SMG, he probably would have had this nuclear here, no problem. Because he ends up dying and there's still a lot of time left for him to get the nuclear. And this kind of happens to me a lot of times too. I'm running with the SMG, or I'm running with assault rifle that's kind of like a hybrid SMG assault rifle. Because those are the only guns I really use. If you can't use it in close quarter combat, medium, and a little bit far range, then it's not really going to work well for me. Because I challenge every single gunfight I see pretty much in this game. So I have to be able to win at all ranges or else the gun just really doesn't work for me. So I stick to like the KN, the HVKs, the Razorback, the CUDA, which is why I actually didn't really mess with the VMP for a while because it's not really a longer range gun. You really got to spurt it a lot and I, I don't really like to do that I guess. Because I'll challenge that long range gunfight and then I'll, I'll hit him first with multiple shots. Aim will get a little bouncy, you'll end up traveling off the guy and then they'll just put me down with like a Shiva or like an M8 or something like that. Which is why I really didn't mess with the VMP too much. Those other guns that I mentioned are more just all around ranged guns. And look at this town again. He's still streaking. He throws himself right back into this town and goes and gets another couple kills with it. I mean these guys are running right in in this game. Which was good. Which is, was very beneficial to us. Because they kept charging us. They weren't really playing like a bunch of babies. Because a lot of times when you start killing people like we were doing to these guys. They won't even leave their house. They won't even think about leaving the house. And then you got to go run in and get them. And then you just end up dying because they're sitting there waiting for you to come. Not playing the objective at all. So you guys might have noticed that he's also using the hives during this gameplay. And he's capping a lot of bases. This is why I said that he's probably not too worried about getting the nuclear right now because he's still going around capping all the bases he's good the hives are a good streak for him to have on or specialist for him to have on right now because he's not dying 
And the hives are great when you could stay alive, move around the map, and then just pick up a couple extra easy kills when they just happen to run into your hives. I don't know how often that really happens to him. That was a good gunfight for him to back off down to right there. Once they know you're coming out this doorway, same thing with the other side of the little garage area on the other side. It's like auto death when you peek your head out of there. There's just like four guys, five guys waiting for you. So it's good to back down from that gunfight. He definitely does a good job at picking his gunfights. Right here he ends up taking both these kills for me. It's kind of funny when you see the double perspective. He just picked up his Relentless. I actually got hit markers on both those guys. And I was like, how am I not getting these kills? And then when I see his perspective, it's kind of funny to see that he just beats me to it by like that split second. I did get two assists. I'll, I'll bring it up when it happens in the game live, which my game will be coming on right after this. And it's just going to be our streaks. You know, we both did really good in this game. We both had a lot of good other plays in this game, but I couldn't fit two full games into this and fit it under 15 minutes. So it just wasn't possible. So he just picked up his brutal and got another kill. And this is the gun that ends up just kind of doing them in, you know. It had he got an SMG or anything with automatic he probably would have got this kill that ends up killing him but he's got this shiva and after going from not bursting the gun not pressing the button all game now all of a sudden you have to it's a little strange you might not have the timing down right away he's going to pick up this kill with the shiva and that's a good range for the shiva but running in close plank point blank like that with somebody else is never really going to work out too well with you with the shiva so there you have it he had a 27 gun streak he picked up the shiva had he picked up any other gun he probably would have had a nuclear and now we're going to start my streak right here in my streak you'll notice that i'm using the weevil and in my weevil class i actually switched it up recently the class that i go with the weevil is i got extended mags fast mags stock and grip and then I run the tack mask, I run flat jacket and fast hands. And that's basically the whole entire class that I like to run here with the weevil. And I think it works out pretty well because the stock on the weevil is really good. You move really fast. The extended mags and fast mag just work out really well here on Nuketown because look how much ammo I have. I mean, I have 70 bullets in the clip. I could reload super fast. Everything about this setup is just like built for Nuketown rushing. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this gameplay. I'm just going to try to get into the enemy small and take out as many of them as I can. That was the first like four kills of my sh brutal streak right there. It happened right before the half. Which is kind of funny because his ended a little bit right after the half. And here goes mine starting right at the half. So we both went on two streaks in this game but not at the same time. He went on his early and I ended up going on mine a lot later. But he had some leftover haters still which actually really helps me out to start my streak. So I continue to go on a nice long gun streak I just picked up my hater as well right there so as soon as his runs out I'll now have my hater to throw in I remember not throwing in these wraps for a little bit because I knew he was streaking apparently I tried to throw him in right there it didn't work out so he must still be going on his streak right now especially because he has a hater he's probably on like maybe not even a 20 yet oh no i'll know when he's on a 20 is when those two kills come up so when i tell you about those two kills that i got hit markers on that's right when he gets his relentless and i know it's on the a side of this map so i end up getting the majority of my kills on the same side of the map as he got all his kills on before i just get the start of them over here we're both still capping bases. You know, like I said, we weren't really trying to go on these long gun streaks. So we were capping bases. We were just playing the game normal like we would normally play. Which on domination for Nuketown is basically us trying to triple cap as often as possible. We never really just leave the base. We just can't help ourselves. If we're over there and we just made the spawn flip, we're going to jump on the base and we're going to try to cap it. A lot of times I actually get killed while trying to cap the base because they'll all spawn on me. That was a nice little two-piece I just had right there where I had to jump shot the second guy. And that's why I like the Weevil because I didn't run out of bullets. 70 bullets in the clip. That's really so many. I could take out like four or five people. This is right when he gets on the Relentless because he, he takes that guy out. And then here I am shooting at this guy and he pops out the door and takes that guy out. So he's working towards the end of his gun streak right now. And I'm still 
pretty much like midway in between mine. I remember hearing him talk about when he got killed and he said it was because of the Shiva and then after seeing it, it's definitely because he had the Shiva on. He just ran into a very unfavorable gunfight with the Shiva. When you guys both run into each other point blank range like that with the Shiva, it's just really not going to work out too well for you many times. Right here, this guy just ran into my bullets, which was very fortunate. I wish I had picked up his gun right there because I get in a little bit of trouble of running out of ammo with this gun. Which usually doesn't happen to me too often with the Weevil. And when it does happen, it pretty much means you're already on a really long gun streak. You might see a little bit of glitchiness here and there, like you just saw right there. Because I really wasn't on the best connection yesterday. And I think it was my internet yesterday because it wasn't really happening to Mr. Cod that often. We switched, we shut down. And then when I turned my game back on, it was still happening. It might be because I had Netflix and on in the other room, but I pay for really good internet, so that really shouldn't be the case. I think I got something like 50 upload, no, 50 download, 25 upload speed. So I really don't run out of internet speed. I only live in a four room condo, so it's not like I'm powering too many appliances here, too many uh, computers or anything like that. Got a couple phones in the house, but usually I turn them off. I do have a Net Duma. I don't even really use that, but I could prioritize where I actually send all my internet to, and most of it does go to the Xbox so that I never really run into any problems. So it's probably something on my internet service providers end yesterday. It just probably wasn't coming in very good, and that's why I was getting a little bit of glitchiness. But right now I got this M8, and I had to pick this up. It's got no stock on it, BO3, FMJ, and fast mags. The only thing good on this is the fast mags, and I'm running out of time. I already have noticed that I had the brutal and now I gotta run over here I gotta get two more kills right there so I got 27 gun streak with those two kills and look at my teammates are in the backyard so Mr. Cod's back there so they're not spawning back here my other teammates back there too and I got a lot of my kills just in this area so I didn't really want to leave I was kind of hoping they would just come back and then time ran out so I ended up with a 27 gun streak myself there I had 91 kills and 6 deaths Mr. Cod had 65 kills and 3 deaths we both didn't put our score streaks in for a little bit of time in that game I mean, he definitely didn't so he could have had much more kills if he wanted to because he was on that gun streak so he didn't really want to throw his in I didn't throw my wraps in for a little bit I probably could have ended up getting the extra 9 kills if I knew I was that close to 100 plus. I didn't even know I was that close because I didn't check my score at the end of the game because that's when I was on my long gun streak. So I'm not going to go flashing my score and end up dying because I did that. But I hope you guys liked what you saw and if you did, definitely hit a like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to me at Champ Gaming. If you have anything specific you want to check out, go to the playlist. And you got a Nuketown only playlist, high gun streaks, supply drops, 100 plus kills. Check it out. Easy to scroll through. This has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.